first sent with me, Persilay, is coming to you live today from YouTube. Just make sure that everything is looking okay. Uh, check the sound, check everything on the tablet. Nothing coming through on the tablet yet. Here we go. Uh, who gets the first comment? I did see somebody. It was Angela saying, hi there, Persilay and everyone. And second comment goes to Keith. Good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Well, I think this sort of counts as early evening. I'm just going to do one reach over to check something out here because of course I can't actually check things until we go live. Okay, so for those of you who are watching live, apologies for a few minutes to those of you watching the recording, please bear with us. For those of you watching live, uh, you have got quite a few videos in store today. We're going to go for, we're going to aim for five videos. I wonder if we will actually manage five. Don't feel for, like you, uh, don't feel obliged to stick around for every single one because you can of course always watch the recordings. We're going to start with this. They're all quite major releases. Um, I suppose the last one would be one that isn't, it won't be a, a kind of um, far-reaching release, but it is from an independent brand that is quite well known. Uh, get a few things out of the way, please uh, feel free to leave a comment, ask a question, whether you're watching live, whether you're watching the recording, I usually get round to all comments in due course. Uh, please consider supporting my work on coffee. Please do also check out the uh, blotter update, which is left in the video description below a few hours after the end of the broadcast, because that's where I come back to the blotters on which I've sprayed the perfumes and talk about how they've developed. And I also tend to uh, publish further thoughts on the blog on persilase.com. So well, who else is here? We've got Audrey saying hello from the sunny West Midlands. Well, we're, we're kind of sunny down here in Hampshire. The sun has been trying to break through. Eam is in London. Sunny here in Leeds too, says Angela. Udo Pantograph says, hmm, tobacco. Yeah, I'd, let, let's get on to that. Now, this is, um, I think we can count this as pretty new. It's been on general release from Dior only for a very short while. You may not be able to see the name there. It's tobacco. Okay, so tobacco. Um, obviously a play on tobacco and colour. Colour spelt the American way, but we'll forgive you all that. And it's the latest addition to what used to be known the uh, collection privé, collection privé from Dior, but now I think they call it the Maison Christian Dior. Um, there was definitely, as has already been discussed on this channel, there was definitely a rebrand of this exclusive range a few years ago. Um, and now it seems to be a, a line of, or, or a collection of two strands. Um, because on the one hand, we have got the scents which I guess are geared very, very firmly towards the uh, the Far Eastern market, the Asian market. They tend to be um, very literally, very figuratively uh, floral, um, quite sheer, quite transparent, quite accessible. And yet there is still um, the fact that part of this range goes for the, the Middle Eastern market. Scents like Leather Oud, Duris Fahan, uh, Oud, is, Duris Fahan, Oud is Fahan did extremely well. Uh, Oud Rosewood was, was beautiful, uh, that came out, I believe it was last year. Uh, Spice Blend. So, so the heavier, the richer, the more ambery scents uh, are very much present as well. But the collection seems to be veering more and more the two the two strands are separating from each other more and more and and you you almost wonder whether there aren't going to be two separate collections coming soon uh, in one of the videos that we're going to be to, uh, talking about today we're going to come on to Armani Privé and you'll be aware that in Ar in Armani Privé even though that umbrella term encompasses all of the exclusives from Armani they have they they've got they've got Les Eaux, they've got they've got other sub ranges okay so this is Tabacola um, which I have smelt already and I've worn a couple of times and actually that was one reason why I wanted to share it with you because I'm very taken with this stuff I've never smelt it though I feel like I know what it smells like says Rich Mitch um I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree I think I d I don't think this does present anything especially surprising, although it, if you like tobacco scents, and I do, and, and I say that as somebody who's never smoked anything in my life, and actually I had parents who uh, were, sorry, I have parents who were smokers, I should say. My dad still smokes, I think. I think, no, he, he, yes, he does smoke, nowhere near as much as he used to. Um, 
And and I was a militant anti-smoker, always telling them to stop smoking. My brother, my younger brother, actually went through a phase of putting posters up in our house um, saying, you're killing us, don't smoke around us, etc. And yet there is still something really um, attractive, I think, about the smell of tobacco, of tobacco leaves, not necessarily of cigarette smoke. That isn't the most attractive smell. Who's got Who's got a fondness, though, for pipe tobacco? Does anybody even smoke pipes anymore? And the idea behind this scent from François Damachy, and I have to say, I think the idea is extremely well executed, is to take the different varieties of tobacco, the different colours of tobacco, and to try to compose a, a cohesive scent out of them. Now, I am not in any way, shape or form, a tobacco expert. I think I have some vague idea that there are different varieties of tobacco available, but I, I don't know very much about them. Um, and yet here you you do, you, you can detect different facets of tobacco. So you have got, surprise, surprise, for the Middle Eastern market, you've got the kind of shisha cord, um, which usually tends to be an apple-like tobacco, I think because apple-flavoured tobacco is one of the most popular um, flavours of, of shisha tobacco that you can get. But there's the there's the there's the, the the woodier feel of I guess blonde tobacco that you get in Tabac Blonde, um, and then darker things happening here as well. It's honeyed, it's 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 syrupy, um, quite rich, quite dense. I mean, I I was really really impressed. I was really impressed, um, and then I thought th th there was a bit of me that thought ah it's an, it's another tobacco scent yes okay well done Dior it's a really good tobacco scent but then I thought to myself okay but how many other really really good tobacco scents can I name really good ones uh, I saw somebody mention Abanita just now uh, and of course that's that's a classic uh, there's a very good one from Penhaligons but it's from the it's it's from the Penhaligons exclusive range the one with the with the ridiculous Cluedo animal heads and I I forget which one it is I, it might be it might be Lloyd George, I can't, I can't remember, or is it Lord George? But it's my favourite of those Penhaligons exclusives. Um, it starts heading, heading, as you would imagine, into... Uh, oh, who's who's just said Shergi, uh, Yura? You need to tell me, now that you've sort of revealed your identity on Instagram, is it Yura or Jura? Um, I don't know how you're actually going to tell me in these comments. Say, is it Yura, the first one, or Jura, the second one? Um, Shergi, absolutely, yes. Another very good tobacco scent. But there isn't a huge number of them out there that are that are really, really great. And this one is one of them. Lots of comments seem to have been coming through, and I've got a very, very brief press release on this. What are people saying? Um, lots of hellos, first of all. Uh, hi from Belgium. Ashfaq says, my liege. I'm not reading out the second bit. Yura. Oh, well done. That's a very good way of telling me how to pronounce your name. Mm, clever. I like it. Yura. Okay, I will remember that. Hello from Muscat Oman, says Christopher. Hello, sir. Uh, lots of hellos still. Um, and anything about the actual perfume? I love tobacco scents, says Olfactive Stories, but I'm just afraid that one would be too fruity sweet for me. Yes, and I have to say, I prefer smelling this on paper than I did on my skin, which is why I think it may be a bit of a sort of fabric or scarf application. But it is very well done. It's extremely well done. Um, I used to put a slice of apple in my pipe tobacco, says Jonathan. I don't smoke pipe tobacco any longer. Um, Alice, mmm, apple, does this remind you of Hermès Ombre, Ombre Narguile? That's, of course, another reference one. But that, to me, is much more an amber scent with tobacco swirling around it. Um, Audrey du Serai is a good one, I think, says Tina. I don't like the smell of sweet flavour shisha, says Audrey, but tobacco scents are nice. My re reference tobacco compositions are Chergui and Tabac Grande, says Ashfaq. Uh, Havana, still great, albeit not smoky. Um, have you tried tea habanero from Rania J, says Roxana? Yes, and I'm pretty sure I reviewed it on the blog quite some time ago. You'd have to go back to Persilace.com and find out. Someone said it was similar to Black Phantom. What do you think, says Frank. Ooh, I'd have to try Black Phantom. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. Rich Mitch, I may buy cigar rum. I've had a sample and it's quite good. Um, cigar, which one's cigar rum? Um, and Ashfaq, uh, Pappy Tobacco displayed quite, oh, message gone. You can't retract your message just while I'm reading it. Let's look at the press material. Okay, as I, as I said, I promise it's very brief. The fragrance name, Tobacola, 
has the ring of a surprising encounter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> An invitation to discover the nuances of fresh tobacco tinged with joyful colours. Yes. Strong, generous and rich with aromas, the tobacco fragrance unfurls a beautifully sensual oriental trail. The bewitching scent evokes travel and freedom. <sighs> this, is, this is where we get into really, really subjective areas, because to me... This is actually stillness. This is the stillness at the end of a day. This is this is maybe curling up with a pipe. Uh, it reminds me of the interiors of Martin Scorsese's *The Age of Innocence* because it's it feels like something from a, from a bygone age as well. It 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 r reminds me. It makes me think of rich fabrics, um, of 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 heat under quite buttoned up exteriors. Um, from the blonde tobacco leaves to the gris tobacco and dark tobacco blends, tobacco with its rich colours and pungent aromas has inspired joyful new hues for tobacco. The fragrance opens up like a rainbow of colours and senses. OK, maybe not a rainbow. I'm not sure there's anything pink here or <laughs> magenta, I don't know, or violet. The brown nuances of tobacco and shimmering shades of plum and peach blend with the garden, sorry, the, gar the garden tones, the golden tones of honeyed notes. And absolutely, that that is in here. Those sorts of orchard fruit, those syrupy fruits are here. Uh, the tobacco color fragrance is a fruity tobacco with a mix of pungent smoky notes and delectably juicy syrupy notes. The powerfully ambery tobacco, tobacco color, I still don't, how do you meant to say it? You meant to say tobacco color? The fragrance sweeps you up in its irresistible swirls. It, as far as the, the Maison Privée goes, it is very, very good. What do you think of the price, says Rich Mitch? Oh, no, but, but you're asking somebody else. Um, the price of these, I mean, I know the price of these is, 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 is shooting up, but at least they're doing 40 mils now in most of them, if not from all of them. Um, FW says, hope I haven't missed a lot. This is, this is only the first video we're doing. Nice shirt. Thank you very much. So, I think... In the interests of brevity and succinctness, I think we're done with this one. A very, very firm, firm thumbs up. It was a thumbs up for me as soon as I tried it. And I did think to myself, thank goodness there are still uh, these Dior scents, these uh, Maison Christian Dior scents that, that we do enjoy and we do like. Because what was, what was the one that I wasn't so keen on? Was it Rouge Trafalgar? Um, but but those, are, those are in a different vein. Okay, so if you are watching live... Come back in a few minutes for a new one from Bulgari. See you soon. Bye.